get it. Time to feed these hungry Steam Deck fans and portable PC fans. <laughs> What's up, people? Another beautiful day. Yep, on a Saturday. I feel five senses work. Health and strength is good or excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, what's good? Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? Steam Deck Squad, what's up? And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freaks, and you investigators, what's up, Oxo fans, Asus fans, ANEO fans, 1X fans, GPD, Logitech, what's happening? <laughs> Sitting here messing around here. Alright, what up? What 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 do, what do I have for you guys? What do I have for you? Little, what, what do I have for you people? What, what do I have for you? All right, we're talking about this Steam OS 3.5 update. I covered this last night, but uh, PCN Games uh, got an article on it. So does Gaming on Linux. <laughs> yeah, PCN PCN Games probably went in a little deeper too. Says here, Valve Steam Deck update 3.5 makes your games look even better. Mm. SteamOS 3.5 is here, and preview channel patch notes for the Steam Deck updates includes improved color settings alongside HDR and VRR support. Let's see if I can get this. Um, says here uh, a new Steam Deck update is here from Valve, and the arrival SteamOS on the preview channel gives you the gives you the chance to check out. What's the latest operating system look like for the for the plucky handheld? <laughs> oh, really? It's plucky, huh? All right. <laughs> so there, uh, the big news here is in visual improvements. No Steam that color display settings akin to those of a desktop gaming PC allow you to opt for more vibrant and warm options, which can be tweaked to your liking while playing a game. While HDR and VRR support for external display will make the visual pop up even more, there is also a welcome fix for CPU issues that requires SMT to be manually disabled by users to resolve. <laughs> you still didn't fix the Miles Morales issue. But anyway, says your uh, the new adjust display color menu can be found in your Steam Deck settings and let you adjust both color vibrancy and color temperature settings the former gives you a choice between native the appearance used prior to this update and SR, srgb the new default setting using microsoft srgb color gamut for a slightly warmer and more vibrant look and both and boasted and then it said a wider gamut appearance which increased vibrance but valve worn warns may result in Gradient uh, chip uh, clipping. Hmm. It says here the second uh, settings let you tweak the temperature of the Steam Deck display, enhancing red for a warmer feel or blue for a cooler look. This is likely to come down to personal preference, although it may well be a welcome solution to those to those of us who suffer from eye strain while looking at screen for extended periods. You can adjust these settings on the fly using a test image or using your currently run game. In addition to this, HDR high dynamic range and VRR variable refresh rate can now be enabled while using an external display providing they support by the display in question. Both of these can help your games look even better. HDR by enhancing the effect of bright lights and dark zones and VRR by automatically and seamlessly adjusting to your display refresh rate for a smoother experience. Note that VRR requires a compatible USB-C adapter, so ensure you're using the best Steam Deck dock for an optimal experience. And that's talking and that's talking about those docking station that has a that was a HDMI 2.1. Yeah, <clears throat> that comes in. They come into play too. All right, it says here, among other changes, it is a fix to touchscreen orientation while using an external display, improved Bluetooth stability, and 
improve resume speed from sleep mode. There is also a fix to common issues where certain games and programs would encounter severe CPU performance issue. Previously, this required users to manually disable S SMT, simultaneous multi-threading. External storage device will also be auto-mounted when they are connected to your Steam Deck. For full patch notes, read below. And then it says Steam Deck patch notes, Steam OS 3.5 preview. Here are a full patch notes for Steam OS 3.5 for Steam Deck courtesy of Valve. To enable this, you can opt in via the settings system update menu. You will be able to return to stable build afterwards if you choose. Mm. It says your display. Uh, the default color rendering for Steam Deck has been adjusted to emulate the sRGB color gamut resulting in a slightly warmer and more vibrant color appearance. Added, added settings adjust display colors to tune the display color vibrancy and color temperature. The settings can be, can be tuned with a preview of testing above or with your running games. Native, the native display color appearance, the color rendering Steam Deck prior to this update. Uh, sRGB emulate, emulates the sRGB uh, primaries in a smoother manner that does not introduce uh, gr gradient uh, clipping. Boosted, emulate a wider gamut display appearance resulting in increased ap apparent uh, vibrance may result in gradient uh, clipping. HDR can now be enabled in display settings if supported by the external display. VRR can now be enabled in display setting if supported by the USB-C adapter. Rework quick access scaling settings to separate scaling from filtering. Added uh, stretch and zoom scaling as new option to handle different aspect ratios. Yeah, you guys got some updates. Says here, uh, fixed touchscreen orientation while external displays connected. Compositing is now avoided in additional scenarios, reducing latency and stuttering in situation with multiple overlay on screen. Improve latency in certain situations where the application renders slower than the display refresh rate. Hmm. Then it says general fix an issue where certain workloads would exhibit severe CPU performance issue unless SMT was manually disabled. External storage device are now auto mounted when connected to the Steam Deck. To format or manage storage device, use the new device management interface settings. Uh, storage. Then it says, update graphics drivers with many performance and functionality improvements. Improve performance for Starfield. Fix view model uh, corruption in Amnesia, the bunker and launch failures for the Immortals, Avium, and uh, Keiju Agogo. <laughs> Improve Bluetooth connection stability, especially, especially with multiple controllers. Slightly improved sleep resume speed. Then it says here, uh, implemented switching between controller binding and mouse slash keyboard desktop binding by long pressing option in Linux hide uh, Steam driver to match Steam default desktop configuration. Improved fade uh, transitions between applications. The content of performance overlay can now be customized by creating a A uh, slash config slash mongo hud slash preset uh, config config configuration files fix a bug where some games could appear stretch if their window size didn't match their uh, swap chain size e.g. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Force uh, Ninja Storm 4 fix this guy a PC needing to be tapped on before input uh, works Fix physical dimension reported to games, fixing some issues with a with an incorrect aspect ratio sometimes being detected, e.g. E returnal. <laughs> says, work around a problem where a loud tearing could cause heavy stuttering if the performance overlay or other overlay appears on screen. Tearing is now possible in such situations. 
and the performance overlay should be disabled for best result. Fix a problem where keyboard input would not be detected in Overwatch 2. Says your controller firmware fix an issue where some thumbsticks touch sensor would lose touch periodically. Oh yeah, you guys got some home uh, updates. And then it says firmware 1 116. Added voltage offset settings. Improved robustness of the firmware setting reset uh, cord. And it says in parentheses volume down plus quick access plus power against some boot hang scenarios. Fix a rear issue that would set the predecessor TDP limit too low, causing CPU and GPU frequencies to be stuck at 400 megahertz and 200 megahertz respectively. It says here, fix an issue where the charging light will turn back on when plugged in for a while after fully charged. Yeah. Then it says, update Arch Linux base. Update Arch Linux base. This update will pull in newer performance security and stability fixes for the underlying package that are the foundation of for our SteamOS. Most notably, this includes recent change for KDE Plasma, Steam Deck Desktop Mode. Full notes on these updates can be found on KDE website. Here are a few of the highlights. New window uh, tiling systems, update discovery, and then it says App Store slash Software Manager with a new home page and improved search. Then it says Discover, Discover can now perform system updates from the desktop. Updates uh, updated desktop widget. Then it said most of most of your new prettier color settings by grabbing the best Steam Deck games. If you need a bit more space to install them, we pick out the best micro SD cards for the Steam Deck to ensure that you won't that you won't run out <laughs> all right and let's see who else we got up here uh, see, gaming on linux what is he talking about yeah so those are all the updates for steam os uh 3.5 yeah so that should that should improve things a little but they really but they really need to fix um miles morales you know, miles morales is having an having an issue on the Steam Deck. Uh, and, um, that, need, that, that needs to be taken care of. Uh, Miles Morales needs to be running smooth as Spider-Man remasters and, and the Batman Arkham series. Okay, what does Gaming on Linux got here? Let's see here. Uh, okay, what's, what's the latest article he got? Okay, um, grab some Bethesda favorite from this hump, from this fanatical bundle. There, another deal for you. <laughs> in your message with y'all say so grab some Bethesda favorites from this fanatical bundle okay okay the evil within deluxe doom Wolfenstein the old blood <laughs> Wolfenstein the new order Wolfenstein young bloods dishonor definitive edition Elder Scrolls uh, 3 Morrowind game of the year edition Elder Scrolls uh, 4 oblivion game of the year edition Elder Scrolls online Fallout 4 Fallout 2 Fallout Tactics, Brotherhood of Steel, Quake, Rage, Doom 3, Quake 4. Huh, no Skyrim? Alright. <laughs> but yeah, those are all the games from uh, the Fanatical Bundle. Uh, what, what are they selling them for? Let's see. Give you 2 for six ninety nine, three 3 for nine ninety nine, and 5 for 14 Yeah. Fanatical. There. Now. Okay, gaming on Linux. What else we got? Since we're since we talking to... Steam Deck here. <laughs> what else we got? Okay, you talk about the Steam OS 3.5. How much minutes I got? Oh, well, I got plenty of time. All right, 14 minutes. All right, Steam Deck OS 3.5 now in preview with HDR, VRR display, color setting. For those who wish to test out the very latest improvements to Steam Deck, Valve has put up some Steam Deck OS 3.5 into preview now. In the official announcement, Valve go over a big list a few of new features so here's some some of what included and then it says the most immediate change you'll notice is that valve tweaked the default display color setting as they said it has been adjusted emulate srgb color gamut resulting in a slight warmer and more vibrant color appearance 
this is a uh, adjustable with a display setting. So we get we got native SRG boosted. And what else? Uh, on top of that, we got HDR VRR support. All right, got that. Okay, all right. Improve sleep, resume speed, improve Bluetooth connectivity. The performance overlay can be customized via, via uh, configuration. Upgraded Arch Linux, Linux based operating system and upgraded KDE Plasma. Fix an issue where certain workloads would exhibit severe severe CPU performance. Was manually disabled. Our external storage device are now mounted when connected to the Steam Deck. Uh oh. And added voltage. Fix rate issues. Okay, we got all that. All right, I'll just leave. I'll just leave a gaming on Linux article with this one. But the one from PCN Games gave the the, the entire list. So there. Plus, I gave you a deal from um, Fanatical. <laughs> so you, uh, you. You, you, you Steam Deck fans, uh, you should be covered for the weekend. Yeah, you probably got, some of you probably got these games already, so, yeah. Well, like I told you before, Valve is busy. Yeah. But, um, they really need to fix, um, uh, they really need to fix Miles Morales. You know? And there gotta be some communication between Valve, Insomniac, and AMD to fix this issue. Because, Mars Morales was never fully tested correctly. It wasn't. No. But the, the, the amount of time that I put, uh, that I try to change the settings, turn FS taint, turn uh, FSR off, turn the, I, I raise the frame limiter, all that. Lower it. Still freezing. So, this is a, this is a, um, this game, Mars Morales wasn't fully tested correctly. So, uh, Valve, Insomniac AMD, they need to um, they need to uh, they need to address this big time. Yeah. But other than that, you little Steam Deck nerds, geeks, freaks, yeah, and fans, you guys are good. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got for now. So yeah, I got you guys covered for the weekends on a Saturday. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing.